So how are you guys doing today? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be reviewing a modded PS4 controller. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, one thing I want to say is that this controller is red. So you guys know that off the bat, I already love it because it's red and it just looks so sexy. Just like looking at it, it's so appealing to me at least. If you like blue, well, there's colors like blue and red for that. So I mean, there's that in case you like blue controllers, but red controllers are definitely my thing. Red in general is just my thing too so this controller does come with a bunch of different mods that you can activate just by holding down certain buttons on the controller which is pretty sick and it does feel a lot heavier than the controller that you normally use on the ps4 the normal one and that is because of course it has things inside of it to make it a modded controller and if you think about it, a modded controller is usually from $120 to $150, and for this modded controller to be under $110, that's just crazy, and I mean, this is a great opportunity for all of those people that are interested in getting a controller that gives you rapid fire, that gives you the ability to quick scope and everything like that, so if you guys are into that kind of stuff, this is definitely the controller for you guys. Also, if you guys are just into normal gaming, the controller is amazing. It does feel a little bit stiff in the beginning, but that is because, of course, the buttons are replaced, and it I really prefer the way it feels over the way the normal PlayStation 4 controller feels because this controller feels sturdy and it feels like it's not going to break for a long time. Another really cool thing is that the analog sticks aren't just like normal analog sticks or they're rubber. They're like plasticky so I mean that works really a lot better than the normal controller because it's not going to rip. There's no way it can rip since it's like metal kind of to the point. It's aluminum. I'm probably uh, I'm thinking it's aluminum because it's like sturdy. It doesn't break. It's not going to rip. Nothing's going to happen to it and it just looks really good in general. And if you guys are worried about the controller being complicated to use and stuff like that, the manual that comes with the controller explains everything in good detail telling you how to do anything that you're wondering how to do with the modded controller, activate the mods, deactivate the mods, anything like that so you guys don't have to worry about a single thing. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. Tell me down below what you guys think of modded controllers. I think they're pretty fun to mess around with. Obviously you wouldn't want to be using in a competitive match or anything like that, but of course it is very fun to mess with friends and stuff like that in a private lobby and of course this controller does work in any other game it's just that it's mainly used for call of duty and stuff like that games that you could use rapid fire and stuff like that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did leave a like and a comment down below make sure to go check out the product down below and have a great day and i'll see you guys around and i'm out peace guys